Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my top nude lipsticks and lip glosses for fair skin. I've decided that from now on I'm actually going to call these videos um, products for fair skin as opposed to pale skin. Um, it's something I'm trying to transition into saying because the definition of pale is actually more to do with like if you're unwell and you've lost color in your face as opposed to actual um, fairness of skin tone. And it's something I've been aware of for a long time. The problem is the beauty community really uses the word pale rather than fair like majority of the time. I don't know, maybe it's the fact that I'm doing a PhD and I'm like, I really want this to be accurate. I've decided to kind of make a bit of a switch. So these are my best nude lip products for fair skin. So I've got lots of drugstore options in this one as well as a few high-end favorites. And I also have a very big range of different kind of styles of products. So some are like traditional bullet lipsticks, some are liquid lipsticks, and some are lip glosses. So I hope you find this video helpful. So we're gonna start out with more affordable products. We're starting with drugstore items. The first is by e.l.f. And this is, I believe they're matte lip pencil, but the, there's no name on the product. It just says e.l.f. and then how much product you get in it. But this is one of their little like twist up style lipsticks. This is in the shade Natural. And this is such a beautiful nude lipstick for fair skin. It also does come with like a little sharpener in the end, which I never use because I like the fact that it's kind of worn down to more of a nub. Um, but that is there if you wanted to use it more like a lip liner. So that is what e.l.f. Natural looks like on my lips. It's quite a sort of mauve nude, so it's definitely very cool toned. Um, I like pulling this one out when I have done a slightly more sort of cool toned eye or something. This is probably my second favorite um, product that I'm gonna show you today. You'll probably all know what the favorite is because I use it a lot and I've talked about it for many years. What I love about this is it doesn't dry my lips out either. It's not ultra matte. This one has a little bit of a sort of satiny sheen on it, which I really like. And as it wears off throughout the day, it doesn't dry your lips out. You know, some matte lipsticks will tend to dry your lips out. This one doesn't. Because it is just so affordable, I'd highly recommend checking this one out um, if you're after just a great everyday nude. The next product is a Maybelline lipstick and this is in the shade Tantalizing Taupe. And this is a little bit melted, my one. They do melt very easily, the Maybelline lipsticks, so just be aware, don't keep them in a hot car or anything or you'll end up like with mine is getting a bit like destroyed on the back. So this lip color I would class as a true nude, at least on my skin tone. It's quite a sort of neutral, slightly cool lip color. It's not quite as cool as the e.l.f. as you can see, but it's it's definitely not a very warm toned nude. The Maybelline lipsticks do have a very strong vanilla scent, so just keep that in mind. But the formula of these is very like soft and creamy. This one's quite a sort of sheer coverage, so there's not actually too much pigment. You can kind of almost like see still a little bit of your natural lip color underneath. So if you do have quite pigmented lips, this might not look like it looks like on my skin on you. Um, my lips are not like overly pigmented, they're just kind of like lip color. <laughs> the only thing about the Maybelline lipsticks um, is that they are, I find a little bit drying throughout the day, even the slightly more sort of creamy ones like this, they're not like ultra moisturizing. So as they wear down, my lips do get a little bit chapped and I usually have to go on with a bit of lip balm. But the color and the finish of it is beautiful. This is a true kind of like creamy satin finish. Not like a lip gloss or anything, but it's definitely like quite a shiny lipstick as you can see. The next product is a lip gloss and this is by L'Oreal. I'm not 100% sure on the exact name of this product, but it's in the shade Nude Ballet and I will link it below. I think it's something like the Infallible Colorish Lip Glosses or something. They don't ever have the names on the packaging. This is such a lovely formula of gloss as well. They're quite highly pigmented glosses and I'm not a big fan of deeper colored like lip glosses. Like I don't really like red lip glosses or burgundy lip glosses or anything because they're quite streaky, quite hard to maintain. But nude lip glosses I do appreciate when they have a bit of color. And these taste amazing. They kind of taste like apricot, which is just divine. It's so nice. These also have very good staying power for a lip gloss. They wear evenly and you don't get that ring. You don't get that white ring, which you get with a lot of lip glosses. So I really love the formula of this one. So that is what that one looks like. It's definitely quite a sort of peachy, apricot-y kind of shade of nude. Um, definitely one that I'd wear with more warm toned looks, like a peachy blush or something. I just love the formula of this. It's so creamy and it doesn't yeah, dry my lips out. It doesn't wear like a normal lip gloss. It's a bit more like somewhere between a lip balm and a lip gloss. It's really lovely and the color is beautiful. I love how pigmented it is for such a light shade. Just FYI, in between swatches, I'm going in with my Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Powder in L41. 
just to kind of tidy up my lip line because as I wipe it off, it takes off a bit of foundation around there. I'm gonna end up with very cakey mouth. <laughs> the next product is again a drugstore item. This is by Milani and this is their lipstick in the shade Naked. Now this is quite a new color to me. I've only just recently received this the last couple of weeks, but I'm already very, very impressed by it. And it's such a lovely nude. It's like a deep kind of mauve nude. Like it really borders that line between is it a mauve, is it a nude? It also smells like watermelon, like kind of fake watermelon scent. If you're not really into those sort of fake fruit scents, you may not like this, but I quite like it. it smells pretty good. <laughs> Okay, I did not apply that one well at all, <laughs> just ignore my application. But as you can see, that's a much more like deeper nude. This is definitely something I reach for when I want quite an obvious look of lipstick on my lips. These wear really, really beautifully as well. They kind of stain your lips a little bit. So as the creamy sort of finish wears away, you're still left with a pretty even like amount of sort of color underneath and they don't dry your lips out as well so this is a very very good creamy formula i've been very very impressed with this one and i'm keen to try actually other colors like some maybe some reds or something from the line as well so now we're moving into some higher end products this is a liquid lipstick and this is by stella this is their stay all day liquid lipstick in the shade Caramello. I'm yet to try their sheer liquid lipstick formula, which I'm very, very keen to try because I feel as though that would actually be even more me. I'm sort of leaning away from very, very highly pigmented liquid lipsticks. This is by far my favorite liquid lipstick formula. In my best red lipsticks for fair skin video I did, I talked about the shade Beso from this line as well. And this is my favorite nude shade. I've also got a couple of really nice sort of brighter colors like pinks and purples and some sort of mauve shades. Actually the color Patina, that's another one that's, I would definitely put that in the mauve category. It's not a nude, but it sort of could be worn in a very sort of neutral manner. You can see that that dries down really, really fast, like it's already matte. So this is a true mattifying liquid lipstick. It's quite a thin sort of liquidy formula, which I much prefer to the ones that are quite moussey. They tend to look quite cakey on me. This I can do one thin layer and looks really nice. Obviously these kind of nude liquid lipsticks do have the potential to look a bit like a cat's butt. I find that if I just put like a little bit of a balm or a gloss on, just where they get the kind of creasing lines, it helps a lot to avoid that effect. But I do find this formula to be the one of the better ones out there for avoiding that. It's quite a deep sort of nude. It's very similar to something like MAC Velvet Teddy, which is that sort of very tan, sort of Kylie Jenner color um, from say four years ago sort of thing when that was like the popular sort of shade of that time. But I do really like having this in my collection, even if it's not something that I'm actually really reaching for much these days as my preferences change, this will still always be something I'll sort of keep around because it's just a classic and I love it and I think it's very flattering. Maybe more so with warmer tone makeup, it does lean a little bit more warm than cool, but I think it's it's really nice. The next one is a lip gloss from Bare Minerals and this is the shade Forbidden and this is one of their Gen Nude lip glosses. I love a lot of the products from the Gen Nude line. I didn't want to include lip liners today because I'm really not tried many lip liners if I'm really honest, it's not a thing that I use a lot, but the Gen Nude lip liners that I got along with these glosses and liquid lipsticks and stuff were very beautiful and that's kind of the one I tend to reach for. These have a beautiful kind of like cake batter scent. Like it tastes quite sweet but not like fruity. It's more sort of like um, a sort of cake or a, a confectionery sort of scent. And in a similar way to the L'Oreal, this is quite a pigmented gloss so it's not too sheer um, but it's a really beautiful flattering nude color. Again, like the L'Oreal one, this is a lip gloss formula that wears really beautifully. It's comfortable on the lips. It doesn't feel sort of sticky and tacky like a normal lip gloss. You do get a little bit of collecting product. I've applied quite a lot so you can kind of really see it on, but, but I don't find it goes as chunky as other lip glosses do tend to do like on the inside. And it just feels very moisturizing. It doesn't dry your lips out once it wears off, which can be a real problem with lip gloss. And this definitely has a lot more sort of pink to it. So it's a little bit more cool toned. I'd wear this with more cool, cool toned makeup looks as opposed to the L'Oreal one, which I reach for more when I would do like more peachy warm toned looks. The next one is a lipstick by Stila, and this is their Color Balm lipstick in the shade Jessie. It smells like a candy cane. Like it's a real like sort of pepperminty scent. It has a very sort of cooling tingling effect on the skin. 
This one is definitely the most sort of greyish leaning of these nude lipsticks. Like it's got a very, very, very cool tone base to it. And as you can see, with this sort of makeup look, I feel like it's a little bit flat. I would normally pair this with quite a bright makeup look, which <laughs> let's be real, I don't really wear bright colors all that often, but I, I don't really reach for this lipstick all that often because of its unique kind of tone. But I really wanted to include this in case you are someone that wears a lot of color. Again, I love, love the formula of this lipstick. It's so comfortable. I love the pepperminty feel like mmm and then the scent and the taste is so good I'm very keen actually to try more of the colors from this line this is the only color I've tried from their range not like the world's longest lasting lipstick or anything um, most of my cream lipsticks don't last that long like I'm happy to reapply them throughout the day I'd rather go for a lipstick that's really comfortable and doesn't dry my lips out and wears well than something that's like super long lasting with the exception of my liquid lipsticks obviously because they are just naturally long lasting that's the nature of a liquid lipstick all right second to last one this is by Smashbox and this is one of their Be Legendary lipsticks. This is in the shade Audition. These lipsticks don't have a fragrance so if that's something that you don't like in makeup fragrance then I would definitely check out the Be Legendary lipsticks. They're really great formula. As you can see this one is definitely more of a rosy nude so this has quite a bit of a pink base to it. It's still what I'd class as a nude but it's yeah quite rosy on the on the lips. This is also a cream finish. They do have some matte finishes in their Be Legendary line. I do have quite a few of these Smashbox lipsticks because um, they sent me like 20 of them like a couple of years ago um, and I'm still really enjoying them. I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but again, the formula of this line is phenomenal. Like they really do wear well and it's so comfortable. It doesn't dry down because this is a bit more of a creamy formula, but I just really loved how unique this tone is. I really wanted to showcase for you guys like a good range of sort of different kinds of nudes so you can, you know, pick a preference. Um, and this is one that I think would really suit if you prefer those kind of more pinky tones. Like if you love like say the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette with those very rosy tones, this would be a really nice color to kind of complement that eye look. Um, and particularly this is a great kind of nude to go for if you're feeling like a little bit flat looking. Um, it can really perk up your complexion. As you can see, it sort of made me look a lot healthier once I put this on because I've got quite nude eyes, nude sort of cheeks today. And then finally, we get to my favorite nude of all time. This is MAC Blankety, which doesn't come as a surprise to you guys because I talk about it all the time. This for me is my favorite nude because it really is just the best of, I guess, all of the worlds. Does that even make sense? Out of all the kind of different types of nudes I've showed you, this is like the ultimate just perfect nude. It's definitely what I'd call a neutral sort of cool undertone nude that leans a little rosy. So it's not cool in the sense of it's lacking like life but it's just definitely not like super warm, which for my complexion especially suits me because I'm more like neutral cool. This is one of their amplified lipsticks, which is my favorite formula from MAC. Um, they're often quite creamy. They're not super matte looking or anything. As you can see, there's quite a bit of a, a sheen to this one, but it's not overly glossy either. They also have a lot of pigments. This is the lip color that I can pull out with any look, like regardless of what eye look I've done. If I've done something very simple, like just a little bit of liner and mascara, this looks beautiful and I can do the most intense, dramatic, insta-glammy eye. Not that I do insta-glammy makeup very often, but you know, like super intense lashes, glitter, everything, and this lip color looks amazing. I know I've convinced many of you to buy this before, and so far the feedback has always been positive, that it's always a really great shade for you, that you find quite flattering. Um, the only downside, I guess, is that MAC, you know, isn't cruelty-free, so for those of you that are exclusively cruelty-free, I'm hoping that one of the other cruelty-free options I showed um, is something that you can use because um, the dupe for this was the Maybelline one that I showed and obviously Maybelline's not cruelty free either. I'm yet to sort of find one that is exactly like this but is cruelty free because that would be great. I'd love to be able to tell you guys about that. So here we have the products all swatched next to each other. So hopefully this is a very helpful guide for you when you are shopping. You could take a screenshot if you wanted to. But this here is the e.l.f. lip color in natural. This is the Maybelline tantalizing taupe lipstick. This is the L'Oreal Nude Ballet Lip Gloss. This is the Milani Naked Lipstick. This is the Stella Caramello Liquid Lipstick. This is the Bare Minerals Forbidden Lip Gloss. This is the Stella Lipstick in Jessie. This is the Smashbox Lipstick in Audition. And this is MAC Blankety. 
But yeah, so that is my best nude lipsticks for fair skin video. I hope you found this helpful. This has been quite a few months in the making. I've been trialing quite a few different formulas. I've definitely purchased a few that didn't end up looking that great. Um, so all in the name of science. <laughs> I think it's a really well-rounded selection and hopefully you can use this video as a bit of a reference for when you're sort of wanting a new nude lipstick, it might help you out. If you did find this video helpful and you want to see more fair skin videos and don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe I do make at least three videos a week until my next video I hope you guys have a wonderful few days and I'll see you then bye